Hi everybody, it's Kathy, and I told you I'd be back with a Dollar Tree haul this afternoon. Uh, it's a little later than I anticipated, but here we go. I do have the Dollar Tree haul here, and then I'm going to film yet another video tonight um, with some giveaways. I finally got that stuff together, and I've gotten all the names of people that have sent packages and cards, and I just want to do something for all you guys. It's so hard to you know, to keep up, but, um, I do want to do that for you tonight. So let's get into this haul. Um, first thing I want to show you is I got a couple of like clothing type things. Of course, socks. I picked up these cutie patootie, um, llama socks. I love this, you know, teal color, this like baby blue green color. And then it's got the striped socks and they are women's five to nine, two pack for a dollar. How can you beat that? So I grabbed those. Um, I found another set of these two pack of bandanas. I got the, um, what were the other ones? Red and blue. And I got two other kinds with two other colors. And I hadn't seen this. This is the yellow and the black bandanas. So I grabbed these. Um, does not say how big they are and of course um, I'm moving a piece of furniture and I wanted to see if it was gonna fit in my car and I left my tape measure in the car so I don't have that with me but anyway I picked these up at the Dollar Tree and then I found some t-shirts now um, my stores were advertising a couple weeks ago uh, t-shirts as the item of the week every store that i went to had no t-shirts i got these uh previous to that um but i picked up this army green hanes t-shirt in an extra large um i'm assuming it's a men's extra large because it's really big but i like these for hanging around the house and um sleeping in and i just loved this army green and i said yep Hanes t-shirts for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And then I picked up this black t-shirt. It's like a really dark gray or black, like heathered look. And uh, I picked that up also. This is also an adult extra large. And like I've told you before, when you see um, t-shirts at the Dollar Tree, they usually have like the green one, like this, all of them will be extra large. The black one, all of them will be adult extra large. Like whatever one they have, it's all in one size. Like there's not black and small, medium, large, extra large. You get one size, one color. So that's something to look for when you're in the Dollar Tree. Um, okay, next up I got some uh, health and beauty items. Uh, picked up some Advil PM. Um, it's four caplets, two packages of two packs. And I picked these up because I've been having a little trouble sleeping at night. And I thought I do usually use the um, Dollar Tree Sleep Aid, which is marvelous. I mean, it, it knocks you out, but sometimes it can leave you a little groggy in the morning. So I thought I would try this for when I really am, you know, in the middle of the night. Um, not being able to sleep because usually what happens is I try not to sleep I mean I try not to sleep I try to get to sleep and not take the sleep aid and then it gets too late to take it because it really knocks you out and makes you sleep so you know if you go into bed and you know you're gonna have trouble sleeping then take the sleep aid but I thought I would try these and see if they would help in those middle of the night type sleepless nights so we'll see I'll let you know how they work um, I also picked up these Dentec um, Deep Clean, what are they calling them? Bristle Picks. Uh, I got these for flossing between my teeth. I did start to film this previously and I already opened the package because I wanted to show you guys what they look like. So I am going to open it again. It's got a Ziploc top on it so you can, you know, carry these around and not be afraid to lose them or you could just keep them clean by keeping the ziplock tight now i don't know if you can see this there's 
like a bristle type on one end. Am I holding the bristle type? No. There's the bristle on this end, like a bristly th type thing. And then the other side is more like a pick, if you can see that. But I got those. They're by Dentec, which is a name brand. And uh, I there are a hundred of these in here. So that'll last a good long while. Um, I also got some toothbrushes. I'm always picking up toothbrushes when I see new toothbrushes. These are by Plackers, and uh, I just thought they were, you know, looked good. The bristles, as you can see, are like not all even, so you're able to brush around the tooth, I think. That's what I'm hoping, you know what I mean? Give yourself a better brush. So it says uh, ultra white, two toothbrushes. Doesn't say, oh, they're medium, which, you know, my dentist says I should use soft toothbrushes, but I really find that medium really makes me feel like my teeth are cleaner. And I don't use it all the time. I kind of switch off my toothbrushes, but anyway, a little too personal, whatever. Um, next thing I got, um, this is, I guess, health and beauty. I picked up these new makeup bags. They're like a really soft, they almost feel like leather, but obviously, you know, obviously they're not leather. They're a really soft vinyl. And then inside is this really soft fleece. Looks like that on the inside. I loved this pink. And I also got it in the turquoise. They're so, so soft. I really like them. Um, but I got these. And then where should I go from here? I guess I can do some cleaning products. I picked up the Dial Honeysuckle Dew uh, hand wash, hand soap. It is the seasonal collection. And uh, it's hydrating hand soap. It's seven and a half ounces. And I picked up two of them because with all the hand washing we've been doing, you know, you can't mess up on not having any uh, hand soap. I think I said that wrong, but you got, you got the picture. And I can see sun coming in from behind the curtain back there, so I'm going to try not to lean forward. As you can see, see that? Sun's coming in from the other direction. Anyway, I picked up this Great Sense Odor Neutralizer Spring Fresh 5-in-1 Advanced Formula Quality Fragrance Quick Acting Fills a Room Long Lasting Room Deodorizer. Not sanitizer, just to get rid of smells in the house. Not that I should have any. I have that air purifier, but you know, some rooms get a little stinkier than others, if you know what I mean. So I grabbed that and then um, I picked up these two bars of soap to use um, for gifts. They are oatmeal and coconut and these are 6.25 um, bars of soap. They're plant-based, scented. Yeah, you can kind of smell it through the box. And this one is oatmeal and lemon verbena. So I picked up these two soaps. I don't use a lot of hand soap, but I know some people that do. So I thought I would grab those for gifts. Pretty packaging. You know, if you were going to make a gift basket for someone, you know, I just thought they were a great deal. They're a really heavy, big bar of soap. So I grabbed two of those. Not two, but one of each. You know what I'm saying? Um, I picked up another candle. This is the coconut mango candle, Old Williamsburg, three ounces, you know the drill. And that does, you know, to the sniff, it's good, but they don't really have a great throw to them unless you're in the room that, you know, you're burning them in, but they're great for ambiance or, you know, if you like to burn candles, this is a great little candle. I only grabbed one because I have a, Big supply of candles. I've been buying a lot of candles at the Dollar Tree. Ah, oh, forgot to tell you guys this. I meant to tell you this right off the bat. In one of the packages that I got, the one from Amy Baker, I was um, get, getting the stuff together, you know, to throw the trash away. 
and I found this magnet. I was cracking up. Thank you, Amy. It's give peas a chance. And it's got a little thing with peas on it. Get it? Give peas a chance. <laughs> I love it. And it's the ceramic magnet with the big thing. Thank you so much, Amy. I am going to put that on my refrigerator when I get off the air. I think that's so funny. Give peas a chance. A little bit of humor there. Um, I did pick up the red truck scrubber cloths. You know me and the red truck. I am so in love with everything with the red truck on it. So I figured I'd grab these to do my dishes with. It's a two pack. So I grabbed those. What else have I got here? Found two new washies. I found, I don't know if they're new, new, but they were new. I haven't seen them in a while, but I picked up this one with the blue hearts on it. That focuses. Blue and purple hearts. I thought it was pretty. I grabbed that one. And then I got this one that has owls and birdhouses on it and flowers. Just thought it was really pretty. And look at that. A little cat in a boot. A cat in a boot and it's got flowers. Very cute. So I grabbed that to add to my washi collection. Is that focusing at all? I can't tell. Next thing I picked up was uh, I found some more of the Singer Ribbon. I found this like leopard print with the pink in it. I thought that was really pretty for crafting. You get, uh, it's a 7 8 inch ribbon and it's 12 feet, which is longer than the ribbon that you get from Dollar Tree for the most part. So 12 feet. Most of the other ribbon from Dollar Tree you get is nine feet. And then I found this one with the peace signs on it. And I got that for crafting purposes. If you can see down there on the bottom, you get a better look at what it looks like. This is kind of reflective. And this is also 12 feet. This is five eighth inches though. It's a little bit thinner than this one if you can tell so you get four you know wraps around four times on this one and only three times on this one I just noticed that but that's okay I'll find a way to use it also in the crafting I picked up this paint set it says give thanks and it's got a pumpkin on it um, you know the kids love to do those painting type projects and so I picked that up to have around the house this thing I have not seen anyone haul they probably have but I haven't and I was really surprised to find it it's called it's crafter square it's called a retractable holder okay it's this plastic tube right and it's got a handle on it and if you look at the pictures on it it can hold pencils, um, paint brushes. You can put anything in this. And what it does is it, it twists open all the way to get to whatever you have. Okay. You put that in there and then this has ridges on it so that you can put whatever size thing you want in here. If you, whatever you wanted was this size, you could only screw it in this far. If it's this size, that far. If it's that size, that far. But you can make it as long or as short as you want. What? What? It says, does it say how long? It can extend to 14 and a half inches. So, wow. Wow, Dollar Tree. You could put your knitting needles in here. You could put your crochet hooks in here, paint brushes, um, pencils. Uh, what's it even got a picture of? Pictures. You can put anything in here. I was, I only grabbed two and I'm really sorry that I only got two because I, now that I, you know, realized exactly what it was because they were wrapped in plastic. They were in a plastic thing and I was like, what is this? It's new. Looks like it holds pencils and I grabbed it. 
And now that I look at it and actually open it, I'm like, what? Oh my God, I should have got more of these. And you know, I got it so long ago that I don't even remember what store I got it in. I, yeah, I can't even say. Can't say. I don't want to tell you one store and it was not that one. But really cool find. Really, really cool find. There it is. And some people have been asking for the numbers on it. So there you go on that. If anyone wants to try to find it elsewhere, be my guest. I also picked up some acrylic paint. I picked up this bottle of yellow paint. It is by Rich Art and, good Lord. I can't even see how many ounces that is. I can't see. Can't tell ya. I'm not sure it says. Anyway, I picked up the orange, the yellow, the orange, and the brown for fall um, crafting. So these are, you know, your fall, basic fall colors. And they're by Rich Art Premium Acrylic Paint, multi-purpose, safe and non-toxic, and water-soluble. So these are at the Dollar Tree, guys. And the last, is that the last crafting item I got? Yeah, I think so. Nope, here we go, sorry. These were buried. These were buried. I found um, these Crafters Square scissors. They have the this design cut on them. And they have a pink handle. They are sawtooth shape, and it says, I don't know why you would want to know the ounces, whatever. And this is also a sawtooth shape, but it's like a wavy shape. So these are the two designs that they come in. I grabbed both of those. They did have that two pack from the other company but I thought I would add these as well because you can never have enough scissors. You feel me? You guys feel me? You cannot ever have enough scissors. Whenever you're looking for them, you can't find them. Um, I found this new piece of uh, wall decor, which really cracked me up. I just thought it was too cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Probably do some kind of fun crafting thing. But I just thought it was so cute. Look at this. Look at these funny little monsters. And it says, feed me, and grr, and mwahaha. It's got two sides. This is one side. This is the other side. I mean, how stinking cute is this? Yeah, I had to get it. I was like, this is just too cute. I can't leave this here. So I grabbed that. That, I believe, is the end of my crafting stuff. I have one kitchen item. I picked up this spatula. It's got the red part that you stir with, and it's clear here, and I got it because it was red, and it was clear, and I'm going to put it in my utensil holder in my kitchen. Um, and this also doesn't have a length. Of course, all these things that need to be measured, and my measuring tape is in my car. Good place for it, Kath. But this is by Cooking Concepts, and uh, I grabbed that. It's kind of like your middle-of-the-road size spatula. Um, next thing, I got some stationary stuff. I saw these ballpoint pens. I don't know how they write. I didn't try them. I'm going to for you guys. You get five of them, but I just couldn't resist that wood look shaft on the pens. Oh, my God. I have to try them. You get five, like I said, and it's the 1.0 millimeter. They're black, which is, I really like a blue pen. I have a, a preference for a blue pen, but you know what? These were just so cute. Not cute, but I loved them. Oh, yeah, they write nice. Very nice. They're smooth. Not so smooth as some of the pens. I have like that light pen and the other light pens. But, yeah, writes nice. Very nice. I like it. So if you have like a, a man in your life or someone who's like a professional, what a nice pen to put, you know, 
in the office or whatever. I just thought they were really sharp looking. It doesn't have to be a manic boot woman too. I don't know why I'm being biased by that saying that. But I just thought they were really professional looking and I liked them a lot. Next thing, I picked up some new expressions by Hallmark. Uh, blank notes. You only get six in this one because there's some glitter on the flower here. But can you stand a kitty cat with um, flower balloons? What? Absolutely stunning. So cute. They are $3.85 in the store, the blank inside, and just too stinking cute. I can't. I can't with myself tonight. Um, I also picked up this magnetic list pad that says, let's get cooking. It's got the little salt and pepper and the spatulas, and I like the nice bright lines. I like lined paper. I just have a, a thing for lined paper. I can't even write like on non-lined paper because my writing goes like this. Um, anyway, anyway, um, next thing I picked up was, uh, two packs of these Jot self-laminating sheets. These things are awesome if you need to laminate photos or business cards or, you know, if you belong to a club and you have, they just give you like a paper card. They're great to, uh, um, laminate. I, I haven't seen them in Dollar Tree in a really long time, so I picked up two of them because they're just great to have, you know, I, they're, they really work great. So if you're wondering if they work good, absolutely, absolutely. I've been using them for a long time and they don't, you know, carry them all the time. So when I saw them, I grabbed them. Um, I picked up a couple of bags, gift bags. I saw these three pack of gift bags and I just thought they were too, too cute, you know, I don't know how many gifts you give that are teeny tiny like this, but I thought, you know, maybe I could even use the paper for some kind of crafting purpose. I just thought they were so cute. And you get three of them for a buck, so what? why wouldn't you get them? And they have a little tag on them if you were going to use them as a gift bag. And then I saw these gift bags, which I thought were really pretty too. You got this one. And these have bright green ribbon on them. And then you got this one. So, so pretty. I thought this would make a great, you know, something you could craft with that. Really nice. So I grabbed those. Maybe not so much for gift giving, but for crafting. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. I saw it and I liked it and I bought it. Um, next thing I picked up was I bought this cute, 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 um, nightlight for babies. It's a little LED nightlight. I got it. I just said, you know what? I have to have that. Um, you know, when I have, know somebody that's having a baby, I got to go to a baby shower. I can whip out this little light and give it to somebody who will really enjoy it. It's just so cute. So, so cute. I can't. All right. And I did pick up a couple more fall items. You guys know me. I can't stop with the fall. I picked up this little bitty owl. He's so cute with the little green hat. And his arms look like that. And he's like that on the back. So cute. I only got one. I refrained myself. I only got one because I know I have these from last year. But they're so cute. And something else I know I have from last year, too. But I couldn't resist because it had a sunflower on it. I had to get this little metal pot. Figured I would, you know, do something. Put some sunflowers in it or something. Or do something really nice with it. But I, it had a sunflower on it. And I couldn't resist because I have all that other, other sunflower stuff. And then I picked up, like I have any room for these on my refrigerator, probably end up giving them to Caroline or um, that little family over there, Caroline, Evelyn, Sarah, Andrew, refrigerator magnets, because I have no room for refrigerators. Although, my friend Connie said I could put them on my front door, which is metal. And I was like, what? I didn't even think of that. So 
I don't know. We'll have to decide what's going to happen with these. This is what they look like. You know what? The packaging doesn't do them any justice. So let's see if we can just open this up and I'll show you what they look like. These are really good magnets. They stick good. Sorry, I'm struck. Yeah. That's what I said. You always need your scissors. Never can have enough scissors. All right. So let me just show you what they look like. They look like that. How cute are those? Look at the wheel wheelbarrow with the um, pumpkin pumpkins in them. So I got that one. And then I got another one. This one is Thanksgiving related. Let me see if I can open this one without a struggle. Struggle, struggle. This one is cute. So cute. You know me and my magnets. I could also take a, what do you call it? Cookie sheet and put them on a cookie sheet and hang them on the wall. I could do that with that turkey with that turkey for Thanksgiving and the fall leaves and the pumpkin. So adorable, so adorable. So I picked those up and the last thing in this haul is a food item. Um, I just picked this up today. I just ran to Dollar Tree to pick up some batteries, which I can't even believe I don't have a stockpile of batteries. I have a ton of AAA batteries, but no AA. So, because I've been giving my son a ton of them, I found these larger containers of the goldfish. You know, you usually find the little milk size container of goldfish. These are four ounces, and I picked up three of them because these are great for the kids. You know, they come over and they want a snack. You know, you can share them with them, but for a dollar, you get probably twice what you get in the other goldfish. So these are good until December 20th. So great little deal for Pepperidge Farm Goldfish. Brand name Goldfish at the Dollar Tree in this size. So get yourself out to the Dollar Tree and find yourself some Goldfish. Um, I am going to leave you guys now because I am going to get the giveaway together and I will be back soon. I hope I showed you guys something you liked. And uh, if you're not subscribed, um, please subscribe. Click on that bell. You'll be notified every time I upload a video. And to all my loyal subscribers, I love you guys so much. And I appreciate your kind words. And I just can't wait to do this giveaway and give back to you guys in some way. So stay tuned. I'll see you soon. Bye now.